what is going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video for any of you guys that are new here. My name is Levi. Welcome to episode one of Die Trying. If you guys caught my last video, I explained exactly why I'm competing in all three events, but I never told you guys exactly what the all three events is called and like the whole structure of what Die Trying is, which I've explained in a couple videos back, which was the business. Die Trying is exactly what I'm competing in. It's to show how capable you are of doing something because a lot of the times, doubt, fear, and a lot of other things get into our heads and hold us back from doing what we honestly can't comprehend that we can do. We're much more capable of that, and that's exactly what Die Trying is, and that's what I'm gonna do throughout this series. I'm gonna show you guys that your human brain is more capable of doing much more than you think it is. So in today's video, I'm just essentially gonna take you guys through you know, what episode one really looks like, which is very, I would say, unplanned. Like, I don't have a plan of attack coming at this yet, but today is kind of like a day for me to structure everything into a plan to get going as I'm trying to find the best cardio option for me to get ready for, you know, the long mileage half marathon thing that I got going on. But I also still want to make it, you know, easier on my joints and my muscles to compete in the powerlifting event. And then I also still want it to be, I would say, not as toxic on my body so that I can handle and with take enough energy to compete in the bodybuilding show. Without further ado, day one is a go. All right, so the first competition I have coming up is the powerlifting meet on June 25th, and then literally two weeks later, we have a bodybuilding meet on the 25th. So by that time, my strength is going to decrease like intensely. So I figured I'm gonna add a whole bunch of weight, not a whole bunch of weight, I'm just gonna add weight to some of my lifts, the lifts where I would say I'm going for more reps, especially on the bench press. So on bench press, normally I would do like 245 for, you know, 12, 13, maybe even 14, but instead I added on another 10 pounds for my working weight. The reason for that is I'm just trying to build up my strength as much as I can right now because I'm anticipating by the time that the meat comes up, all my lifts are gonna drop immensely. So let's just say I can get up to 335 on the bench, right? By the time the meat comes up, I'm gonna think that my strength is gonna decrease by 20. I don't know how I'm coming up with this calculation. I just know that it's gonna decrease a certain amount. So I'm just kind of getting myself ready and getting as strong as I can before I pretty much lose like all the strength that I have right now. I don't know how many of you guys gyms have these, but if you guys have like a dog machine type of handles and stuff, try to use the low portion for the usually two sets of handles, one that's a little higher and one that's a little lower. Use a lower one in stand because it's going to require you to use a lot more like strictly your chops because I think it's this high one. I feel like use my shoulders to a degree, but especially when I grab down here, I feel like I can't do my shoulders. I feel like so much of the weight is just bearing on the trap. Okay, so finished shoulders. I would say that I don't have the best pump right now, for sure, and I'm also wearing pants today. Um, I'm not dropping my pants right now because my leg insertions don't really look oops, we're gonna drop the pants. Anyway, so I'm looking pretty good. I'm still like 181. That's like the start of a wrap for this whole uh, first episode of the season. I'm hoping to get down to 165 because I need to be that for the powerlifting meet. And I don't remember the last time I weighed 165 to be honest, but this is 181. I'm just going to do a couple different poses that I haven't done before. So we'll do a front lat spread. I'm actually like really surprised at how good I've been looking for um, like classic physique. Dude, just like my favorite classic pose, which is like, gonna be this one. Just I don't remember what the frick this is called. And then this is the vacuum this far. So I 
that's where we're at right now. Um, everything else you guys see in front of the bicep, everything else. The lat spreads are looking really good. I was so shocked. I mean, I'll look smaller when I cut down, so I don't know how it'll look then, but on pictures it'll obviously look a little different. I'll be tanner too, because it'll be the summer. So I'll look pretty insane. Um, that's what we're looking like right now. So we also gotta make a meal plan for this. Okay, so I don't know who has watched my previous like full days of eating. On my previous full days of eating, I've been having like 4,200 calories or a little more than that every single day. It's the worst. Like it sucks so bad. I hate eating that many calories because like at breakfast, I'm literally struggling just to like get down food. Like I'm sitting there eating my eggs and sausage, which is like the worst meal for me lately, to be honest. And I'm not going to just complain about it. But it's just been bad having to eat that many calories, like especially on my frame, I'm only five foot eight, 181 pounds. So it's just, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. But um, like I said, I've been eating 4,200 calories, exactly is like 4,263, consisting of 122 grams of protein, 584 grams of carbohydrates, and 132 grams of fat. Um, but we're actually going to be changing that. So I'm going to take you guys through really quick what I'm going to be taking off. Um, starting now pretty much just to I would say reduce some calories so that when we're getting ready for the show and stuff We're trying to lose weight how I'm gonna do this the total calories that we have after removing some of those items are 3,531 total calories consisting of 194 grams of protein 477 grams of carbohydrates and 106 grams of fat and that is that the reason I took such a big cut in calories initially from the get-go is because I kind of calculated that I've still been gaining weight despite me doing cardio because you know we're still on 75 hard so you know even though it's just taking my dog for a walk it's still a type of cardio and I've still been putting on weight so I was like okay if I start doing cardio and only do like a 300 calorie cut we still might lose weight but at the same time it's going to be I would say a lot more of a longer gradual decline rather than like oh the weight is starting to like slip off slowly but surely but a little faster than like the you guys get the point i just what i think it would be a faster weight loss if we just cut that much from the get-go i'll run with that amount of calories for like the next two weeks maybe even three weeks depending on how like the weight loss goes and then from there on i'll cut like another 300 400 calories and then i'll just kind of repeat that cycle so feel like this for me personally that 3500 calories is a good place for me to you know get decently lean but also still put on muscle and by the way you can lose weight and stay lean and put on muscle in case you didn't know that so that's kind of where we're sitting at with that i'm you know, hoping that this goes according to plan. I'm not really too sure. I'm just happy because I'm not gonna be eating that freaking breakfast sausage anymore that I absolutely despise now. Like, it's just, it's just gross thinking about it. It's just so salty. I just don't like salty things that much. I'm out a little out of breath. We only got five minutes, 46 seconds left in. So, how I'm doing my cardio for getting ready for the show, whatnot, and everything is cute. I did, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm kind of learning how to plan everything. So every Sunday, I'm gonna do a run. I'm not gonna really train that day at all except for doing like abs and that's pretty much it. But every other day I'm gonna be on the treadmill and I'm gonna do about, I don't know how many miles. It's looking about like one mile and three fourths. But I'm doing it at an incline of six and at a speed of four. We're doing it for 30 minutes. I think that's optimal enough for me. Um, maybe we'll have to increase the um, time as time goes on. Um, I'll just see. I've been I haven't really lost lost weight yet, so it's hard to tell right now. But that's going to be episode one of Die Trying. I appreciate you guys so much. There's been a really good increase on the YouTube lately. So anyone that's new here, thank you so much. You've been bringing a lot of support. It means a lot to me. I'm wearing some merch right now. It'll come out soon. I'll talk about it more in the next video. That being said, if you guys like this video, be sure to give a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press the subscribe button because you guys know I will be back. As always. Sky's limit. Can't tell me stop.